Well, over the last couple of evenings, we've been talking about averages. This week, uh, NOAA released the new 30-year averages for the United States and the 30-year weather averages now based on 1991 to 2020, replacing 1981 to 2010. I wanted to talk about snow by breaking down by month, that is, uh, with our new averages. During the heart of winter, January and February, the new averages are actually quite a bit higher. It's been snowier in January and February, but kind of on the fringes of winter, in October and then also in March and in April, the average snowfall amounts have gone down a little bit. Overall, our snow season is a little bit snowier than it used to be uh, during the previous 30 year period of record. All right, now let's talk about wet weather and the lack thereof over the last several weeks. Over the last few weeks, there's been a pretty expansive area of uh, moderate drought conditions in northern Ohio and western PA, but thanks to the recent rains, we've seen the area covered by the moderate drought shrink in the latest update. In fact, we're now out of the abnormally dry category in places south of 224. It's been certainly wetter in early May than much of April was, and we're going to add to those rain totals later tonight. We'll be dry for the next handful of hours, but after midnight, this rain that's west of I-71 now, We'll head our way and that will set the stage for a soggy start to the day tomorrow with temperatures not as cold as last night. We'll drop down into the lower 40s. We were close to freezing at daybreak this morning. All right, our qualifier tonight in the new cut cut above the rest contest. Gene Longo from Hubbard. Gene, you have 21 minutes to call that number. It's 1-800-488-9365. Hit option five when you call that number. All right, so wet weather to start tomorrow, but it's not an all day washout. In fact, I suspect as we get into the afternoon, the sun's going to try to come out as we'll be kind of in between systems for a lot of the afternoon hours. So a decent afternoon, kind of like today, though, pretty chilly, only 53 tomorrow afternoon. Then another round of showers by about sunset tomorrow evening into the overnight. In fact, the showers will stick around into Saturday morning, much like tomorrow, though Saturday afternoon could be salvaged, and I think this will be the better, better part of the weekend, Saturday afternoon, early Saturday evening. I say that because look at Mother's Day, rain coming in, and once the rain pushes in, it's just going to turn into a washout for Sunday afternoon. We also are not done with the threat for frosts and freezing temperatures over the next handful of nights, especially early next week, Monday night, Tuesday morning, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Once again, we may be covering and bringing in plants as we go into mid May. There is not much warmth to be found in this seven day forecast. Only 49 on Mother's Day back to the mid 50s. And finally, we dry out early next week with some sunshine Monday through Wednesday. Madison. All right, Eric, we'll get there. Thank you.